Now, the most interesting group of ideas, at least for the sake of this cosmological argument, are these innate ideas. And you might contrast innate ideas versus kind of the Lockean view that you come into the world an empty slate, tabula rasa, an empty slate. So that, you know, for Descartes, he thinks that there are ideas built in your head, while Locke thinks that at least certain ideas, uh, Locke thinks, excuse me, Descartes thinks certain ideas you're born with, they're innate. They come in as a result of your nature. Locke claims that all of your ideas come from experience. And let's think, example, uh, examples of innate ideas for Descartes. And I think, you know, he gives some examples. He, he talks about um, his idea of truth, his idea of what a substance is, what a thing is, but also certain, if you think about kind of propositional knowledge, I exist, I think is an innate idea. It's the nature of my being. I think is the nature, part of the nature of my being. That's how I get that thought, that propositional entity. And the interesting one for our, for our particular uh, purposes right now is God exists. Now, if you ask the question, well, must innate ideas be caused by the object that they represent? Well, I think that's something clearly that Descartes would deny because that really amounts to that CPI1 principle, and I think he certainly would say that that one is false. But I think if we start thinking, connecting this with some of the concepts that we talked about on the, uh, with the classical cosmological argument, that is degrees of existence or degrees of perfection, I think it's a principle along those lines that is going to be critical for Descartes, for him to get, to get a principle that works and it's going to be around this principle that his cosmological argument is going